Alright guys, they're playing some Camille top lane in the new patch with all of the new buffs and we're facing off Riff in this game. And what we're running here is Grasp, Shield Bash, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Biscuits, and Cosmic. This game, I'm going to show you how to carry with Camille with all of the new buffs and in case you haven't seen it, um, they actually gave a direct buff to the AD growth of Camille and they also gave a direct damage buff on the R. And the reason why they're doing it is because she's not being played in pro play. Like, Camille was already a very good champ. But funny enough, the reason why they buff her is because of not being played in pro play. That's their reason. So they gone ahead and buffed this champ, which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. She was uh, perfect, actually. I would consider Camille perfectly balanced. But, uh... Surprising enough, not anymore. Ooh, sidestep. Ah, uh, she might get away. Wait a second, I got an, I got an idea. I'll pop in my E here. There you go. Got you. Nice attempt at running away, flashing to the left side. That's not working. This matchup is quite a fun one because in case you're unaware, um, Riffin and Camille are two champions that I play so much, man. And uh, I know everything about this matchup, both, you know, from the perspective of Riffin here, as well as the perspective from Camille. What I can say about this matchup, it's like a skill matchup, except like Riffin definitely has the winning edge here. Like she actually has a fair chance to like, um, you know, win the matchup just based on champions. But if you are a very good Camille player, you can easily turn this entire matchup very easily. Let's uh, sell that one. There you go. So, um, a little bit about the build here real quick. Um, with Camille, you have two builds which are very important. You got the Trinity Force build, you also have the Define build. And the difference between both is that Trinity is always used to like 1v1, split push, uh, playing it versus team comps that aren't very tanky. That's where you go Trinity. If they do have like Maokai, Malphite, bunch of CZ, whatever, like um, champs you can't cover easily, that's where you go Define. So it's, that's kind of how you separate the build from each other here. Let's see. They got a Jarfin in the jungle, so we got to be a little bit careful. As it turns out, the Jarfin is also topside. I kind of want her to, like, walk up to me. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I just hit the potion. There you go. Uh, we're about to get a kill. There you go. Hit the true damage. Make sure you always try and fit in the true damage. If you cannot pick up the true damage, you just gotta hit the second Q. Alright. Now let's kind of hold it like this. Perfect. We're not pushing the wave because... Camille simply does not have this type of wave clear, but also if I were to like, um, you know, clean up this wave here, Riffin also wouldn't be losing all the last hits. If we let the wave push into me, then she will basically miss everything. So. Nice. And everything is getting lasted. Cool. Got most of it. Riffin's back as well. I'm gonna attempt another kill on this guy in just a bit. And we'll lose that last hit. Also this one, there's not much you can do about it. It is what it is. Um, we're gonna make sure that we slow push the wave. We're definitely not gonna hard shove. Because hard shoving um, allows her to farm for free, which is absolutely not what we're looking for. I could technically E into her right now because I got my level 6 and she's level 4. But the chance of her sidestepping it is very, 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 very likely. Because she has like four type of dashes. So I'm just going to slow push this. There you go. Pop in my W. She probably should away or not. Also an option. I could try and stay around a little bit longer, but it's going to be sort of like an overstay. But since I know where Shaco is, it is actually possible. Uh, try fitting in like another auto. 
Hmm. Uh, uh, okay, cool. I was thinking about pressing R. Ends up I didn't do it. Hmm. Didn't hit my W. This is very upsetting because I think it could have gotten the Jarvan. Let me check here. We just need the hard shelf again. But yeah, Camille is perfect, man. Um, not just... Like, they gave all these buffs for the, the mid slash late game. So, you're you're not necessarily playing... Like, you're not necessarily feeling much of the difference in the early game with Camille. You feel some of it. Like, some of the buffs... You, you feel at level 6. That's where you start noticing all the, uh, the changes they went through. Um, but... You'll start feeling Camille is like the most when you get the first item and when you get like even higher levels, right? Um, early game with Camille is also a lot of fun because Camille is not just a late game champion like probably most of you guys recognize, but uh, Camille is also like an early game champ as you can see. You can snowball lanes very easily when you play Camille. Oh, she's gonna die again. Lock her down, press R, there you go. Now I still got the wave flight pushing my direction, but I will start shuffling now because... Um, wait a second. I'm gonna start pressuring Riffin here for some plates. So I'll just drag the weight at the lane first. There you go. But I will start shoving now. As soon as this wave like thins out enough, I will immediately start like pushing down lanes. Didn't get that one? Sure. Let me check here. That's gonna go under a tower. As mentioned before, I don't wanna prioritize like freezing right now. I wanna try and get my Trinity Force as soon as possible here. I'm gonna start putting a uh, slow push in the lane here. She's obviously way, like, way too weak right now. Even if I, you know, were to get a gank from the enemy Jarvan, I'd probably be able to 1 versus 2. Um, but things become especially more fun once I have my Trinity Force, because at that point I know for certain that I can 1 versus 2. Okay. There you go. I actually need like... I need that plating. I'm just gonna go for it. A job fits in mid lane. Hit the passive. I think that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm way too fat, man. I'm way, way, way too fat. I'm like way too far ahead in this lane. This guy has no chance anymore. That's like one of the, um, the, the, the bad things about this matchup. It's either you win or you lose this matchup. And it's also, you, you, you notice it very fast as well. It's one of those matchups that can only go one direction. If uh, Riffin wins this matchup, then Riffin's gonna hard win the matchup. The same thing the other way around. If, if Camille hard wins this matchup, there's zero chance for Riffin to come back anymore. You know, especially once we make it to Trinity Force. This guy, he just can't play this matchup anymore. The only thing that could give him the comeback here is if I were to play aggressively and I die into a gank or whatever, or like she would press R and just all in. That could be a an opportunity, I suppose. Let's go for this one. Into a long sword. I'm just gonna teleport this one because I'm already winning too hard. If Jarvan ganks my lane here, I can one versus two without a doubt. Look at my damage now. If I hit my true damage, I'm gonna do like 50% of the damage on this on this guy's health bar. Look, I'm gonna demonstrate. Let's see if I can demonstrate properly here without actually dying. If I... maybe I can pop out the shield? No. Smart one. I wanna demonstrate you the true damage on Q. Um... Wait a second. I could draw the attention from Jarvan to gank my lane though. I don't have I definitely uh I don't have any vision in my lane. 
So I'm kind of hoping that Jarfin will gank my lane at this point because I can easily 1 for 2 in. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can demonstrate my damage. Nah, I can't. Would have been nice, but... Nah, I don't think I can. Jarfin doesn't seem to be on the way here. I think I might have to let the wave like bounce into me. Still don't have a ward, that's fine. <laughs> I want to showcase you guys the damage, but obviously this guy is not going to lane anymore. I have an idea though. Maybe what I can do is like push down this wave slowly and then hit the Q on the wave and then hit another Q on the, with the true damage on Riffin here. That's like an, uh, an idea. Jarfin's still on bottom. He's going Drake. Okay. That's one Q. See? I'm way too far ahead right now. And on... Yeah, I missed my E. So that sucks. That came fully from my, uh, from my first Q. Well, let's pick up the plating here. I don't know, man. Like, I am very happy with the Camille buffs. But at the same time, she never deserved it, in my opinion. Because legitimately, the only reason why they buff Camille is because of pro play. That's, in fact, it's, it's in their patch note. That's the reason behind it. I cannot believe that that's the reason they buff Camille for. Because it's just not being played in pro play. Like, what? Like, in my opinion, they should buff champions based on solo queue. Not based on pro play. But yeah. A little bit weird in my opinion. But that's how Riot balances out the game nowadays. It all depends on pro play. Like, that's why you see, uh, it might surprise you guys, but uh, Kassente is a good example of this. Like, you guys know that Kassente has been low win rate, right? For like a decade at this point. Like, he's been like below 45% win rate or something, or 46, I don't know. He's like a really terrible champion for solo queue. Funny enough, Kassente is still being played in pro play, so they decided to nerf a 46% win rate champion. And yeah make it basically worse because it's being played in pro play like i don't know man it's such a weird like it, it's so strange to see riot like balancing out champions based on pro play because the win rate clearly messes like what the, the win rate clearly shows that the champ is just terrible but yeah that's their way of doing it i suppose Well, I can play aggressive like this, but not too aggressive because the Jarfin's still missing out here. I want to take the red buff. The only problem is that I still don't have any lifesteal. Nice. Ooh, too bad. Hmm. Haha, <laughs> that's not gonna work. I'm glad I'm not jumping on it because that could be a chance of me like potentially dying. Um, I don't think that she has a ward. Oh, she does. <laughs> I love how the Jarfins is not ganking the lane anymore. <laughs> that Jarfin just refuses to go top lane. So I'm about to kill this guy too. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's a lot of gold, by the way. Not bad. All right. I'm going to go back. We're specifically buying. Uh, I'm going to go for the lifesteal. I prefer this stuff much more above anything else, really. I think I'm about to go teleport ball in. Nice. 
<laughs> I love the animation from the Lux, uh, the Lux uh, ultimate. Not going off. <laughs> yeah, this was gonna be. I'm not surprised that this is a fast game. Obliterate lane, my teammates do. But yeah, this is Camille Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.